Ciao ragazzi e benvenuti a Pizza Talk Oggi cercheremo di parlare di induismo E lo faremo con il nostro ospite Che come al solito lascerò si introduca da solo So, hi Subamori, is it right? Ok uh, Shubamori Yeah I'll Shubamori. let you introduce yourself to our viewers And then we can talk about induism Ok, ok uh... Thanks for inviting me, Vano, and uh, all the best, uh, best wishes, and welcome to this episode of Pizza Talk. Thanks, Ivano, for introducing. Thanks, Ivano, for welcoming me to your show. Hi, viewers of Pizza Talk. My name is Shubhamoy Das. I'm from India. I have been a former journalist and I used to blog for about.com, which was part of New York Times from 1999 to 2016 on Hinduism, okay. which is the faith that I follow, the prominent faith of India. I am also the author of Applied Hinduism. This is the book okay. that I've written. And... Uh, i have written several other books on hinduism as well and lots of articles that you can find on the net ok so quindi andiamo dritti sulla, sulla domanda let's get straight to the point what is hinduism right so hinduism is typically an indian phenomenon it is the traditional faith religion whatever you can say of india So it does not have one founder uh, like a Jesus Christ or a Buddha. It has been there since time immemorial. Uh, and you are born into this faith. Uh, it is, you, you don't convert into Hinduism. Uh, you, are, you are either born or it, it is not an organized religion as such. So it is a traditional uh, 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 faith of India. And it's, 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 an, it's a universal religion. And uh, you may say the oldest uh, surviving religion. Uh, it started uh, like even 2000, uh, even before 2000 years before Christ's birth, which is 2000 BC. Mm -hmm. And the basic texts of Hinduism, like the Vedas were written even in 6,500 BC, so that old. And there are some, some, some historical references of hinduism or the hinduism the term hinduism actually is a modern coinage made by the british uh, but before that it was known as sanatana dharma even now it is called sanatana dharma which basically is means that it's traditional uh, religion of india and it, it even existed before uh, you know as far uh, back as uh, 10000 bc uh, because there are some records there are some scriptures that are now being found out that show that uh, the, the kind of traditional religion that we're talking about, that is the base of Hinduism existed even at that time. Uh, the, the name Hindu actually comes from the river Indus, which is flowing in, in, in the northern India and some parts of Pakistan. That is the uh, river that gave the, uh, that river is called Sindhu and that gave the, uh, Than the name of uh, the of, of Hindu or Hinduism, um, and uh, any any the, the Persians used to uh, you know into, into pronounced uh, pronounced Sindhu as Hindu, and that's the reason uh, they thought that all the people that live on this side of the river, which is basically India, south of the north of uh, south of south of Persia, are Hindus. So that's how uh, the name uh, Hinduism came from. So that is basically Hinduism. Ok, It so... Is one of the oldest religions of uh, the world. Ok, quindi quali the sono le... Largest as well. Ok, quali sono le maggiori caratteristiche dell'induismo? Quali sono i, i, i pilastri dell'induismo, le, le cose principali? So what are the main features of Hinduism? What are the main uh, beliefs and uh, etc etc? Uh, so there are mainly four prominent features of Hinduism. Uh, dharma. Karma, Samsara, and Moksha. So these are all Sanskrit words. 
uh, you may have heard about dharma. Dharma basically means uh, religion or faith. Uh, it is basically the, uh, it coming from the, the, the words of ethics and duty, righteousness. Those are the things that dharma actually means. Uh, it has it is now also taken the form of religion. That the dharma actually means uh, the ethics or duties. Then you have the karma. Uh, you may have the 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 the, the, the law of uh, you know uh, good deeds, bad deeds, th that you know uh, action reaction kind of uh, uh, thing that that the West has interpreted karma as. But karma actually means means action or right action. And then you have samsara, which is rebirth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Hinduism believes that you you are not just born in one life; you, you get born in several several lives after death. And uh, moksha is this liberation uh, from this cycle of birth and death and birth and death. So this cycle of rebirth uh, uh, gets 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 finished uh, when you when you achieve something. Uh, and that is called moksha. So these are the four tenets uh, of uh, Hinduism. If I have to, it, it, it is very complex. It is very vast. It is un, unorganized and un, uh, kind of uh, unde undefined. So there are many, many things that are, that, that, that are still free that, that, that you can believe in. But if you have to distill it in four different themes, it will be dharma, karma, samsara, and moksha. Okay. Uh, ci sono... Più divinità nell'induismo? C'è una sola divinità? Cioè io so che ci sono più divinità, però è un po' dubbia questa definizione, perché in realtà potrebbero essere più aspetti dello stesso Dio. Cioè, uh, is there a, is, is it a polytheistic faith or not? Because there is a, a bit of confusion on this. Yes, it is a, it is a polytheistic faith in, in the sense that, you know, uh, Hinduism believes that any object uh, that is there in nature can be worshipped. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, millions of gods and goddesses that you can believe in. Mm -hmm. So it, it is it is said that, you know, you uh, that there, there are as many gods as there are human beings. So if, if India is a uh, is a country of uh, one and a half billion people, there may be one and a half billion gods. But and you are free to believe in any uh, one of them. So uh, since there, are, there is the Trinity, just like uh, in, in, in Christianity, uh, so you have the Shiva, the God, uh, the, 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 uh, the God that uh, destroys, Vishnu, the God that creates or preserves, and, uh, and uh, sorry, Brahma, the creator, uh, and Vishnu, the preserver, and Shiva, the destroyer. So you have these three gods uh, that is the part of the Trinity. And there are multiple other gods and there are goddesses as well. So uh, you can believe in each one of them. There are also zoomorphic deities, which means that there is Hanuman, which is a form of the ape uh, god. Then you have Ganesha, which has the, got the face and head of an elephant. You know, so so they, they are they are they are kind of zoomorphic deities as well. So Hinduism believes that all kinds of uh, you know natural objects, just like pantheism. Uh, you know, uh, can be worshipped. So that, in in one sense, that that there are multiple gods uh, and there are millions of gods. But Hinduism also believes that the ultimate truth is absolute, is one that is Brahman. Okay, 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 okay. Um, cosa fa un una persona che crede nel nella religione hindu tutti i giorni? Cioè Come è scandito il suo tempo? Che preghiere fa? So what does a uh, Hinduism believer uh, do daily for his fate? So he prays, he has a certain, um, I don't know how to, to say it, routine. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so Hinduism is, is, is an open faith, which means that you are free to do, uh, uh, you know, as you believe. Uh, but I can tell you what a traditional Hindu does. You are not supposed to, you are not uh, bound by faith to do a certain number of things in a, in a day. That you wake up in the morning, you first worship or and uh, you pray five times a day. Uh, and then at night you do this. Uh, you, uh, you eat at a particular time. You can eat this or you can't eat that. It's not like that. So it, Hinduism is... Uh, 
completely open and free you you are free to do everything um it is not that you know you have to go to the church on on sundays so you here uh, you know the holy days are you know it it could be um uh, tuesday uh, for lord hanuman it could be saturday for lord shani uh, uh, these are the different gods you know it could be you know thursdays uh, which is a which is a holy day uh, or the or or the day of the guru you know so uh, do, and and do you need to go to the temple to worship these deities uh no you you really don't have to visit the temple you can visit the temple only during festivals if you like those are more for cultural reasons but you can pray at home you can have your own altar at home uh you can have your own uh you know small uh you know idols that are that are there in your home that you can pray to or your little picture that you can pray to or if you if you have missed prayer you have nothing caused no blasphemy there is nothing wrong in uh in praying or not praying or or believing on a day-to-day -day basis or there is no restriction that you have to eat vegetarian food or a non-vegetarian food or you have to keep fast on a certain day or not this is completely up to you whether you want to do that for your own mind and your body uh there is also there are certain things like yoga ayurveda uh, there are lots of other these kind of practices which are for your mind and your for body for your own well-being for the well-being of the family and the community uh and you are you are you're free to do that so many people practice that um i mean you if if, if young people they are not very religious uh they don't have to do it older people when they think that you know they they are becoming a little uh you know uh, uh you know they 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 they, 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 they have the affinity towards uh, becoming religious they start believing in gods they start believing in, in the in in life and death and things like that so they become more religious at the end of their uh you know in, in of their lives even if they have not believed in anything throughout their life but they still remained uh hindu so some people are devout hindu some people are hindus just by birth okay Adesso veniamo all'ultima domanda che è sempre la più curiosa, tra virgolette. Cosa c'è dopo la morte per l'induismo? So what's after death for Hinduism? So yes, uh, there is uh, the belief of uh, heaven and hell. Mm. Uh, if you do good deeds, you'll be going to heaven. If, if you do uh, wrong, wrong things, you'll be going to, uh, to, to, to hell. Uh, but it's not fixed that if that that you go to heaven uh, and you stay there forever, uh, you also can come back and have a second chance. Uh, you know, if you are going to hell, you're not that you know that you'll not be able to go to heaven. So that's a, that's a little difference between uh, the traditional uh, Christian belief uh, of heaven and hell. But yes, uh, heaven and hell uh, concepts does exist in the scriptures. But modern Hindus don't believe that. They think that, you know, you can make a heaven in your own life and a hell in your own life, uh, in, the, in, in the present life itself. Uh, as far as what happens really uh, after death, Hindus believe that the soul doesn't die, only the body dies. The soul leaves the body and is, is, is immortal. And, it, and, 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 and uh, also we believe that there is uh, there is reincarnation that you are uh, you you are you don't die uh, you know if you if you die then you are again reborn uh, and then there is a cycle of birth and death that continues until you attain moksha which is the liberation from this cycle of birth and death ok ok perfetto grazie mille è stata un'intervista super interessante thank you very much it was very interesting con voi ragazzi ci vediamo alla prossima intervista, al prossimo video, mi raccomando iscrivetevi e commentate qui sotto e ci vediamo alla prossima. Thank you again.